I'm sure he's here for the party and any money. It's just a consolation prize. Yeah, I think so too. And that's the thing. You see a lot of high-level players. I don't think they actually care if they get first. Mm. Because so when it comes to money, weekly. when it comes to money, sorry, yeah, not at weeklies at least. Like, you want to be people. Yeah, they're here for the practice. <laughs> like to make sure that their tech is correct, to make sure they're reading people right. Yeah, like that patience are my cobalt right there. Cobalt. So it's all smart. And I love watching his Marth. His Marth. And Mango's Mark, the, they're not, I wouldn't say it's completely similar, but they're unconventional in a way that's really fun to watch. Right. Right, spacing out with those forward airs, because like that down air to go out of way in a forward smash. Love it. Only taking 20%. Good stuff for Cobalt right now. Yeah. Um, caught by a little bit of something there coming off of Riz. Um, Riz finally got the pressure there, but he was afraid that he messed it up, so he went back. The there spike? Yeah, was very oh good. Oh my goodness. That's such a Cobalt spike. It's rough. <laughs> it's, come back from that. He did not care. He's like, I'm just going to go out there and challenge. Yeah. He's like, I'm pretty sure the spacing's going to be right here. And if I'm not, it won't be that far off, so we'll both be recovering anyway. Yeah. That's it. Wow! Wow! Oh, <laughs> Falling up air to suicide KO. side B. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep the weak hitboxes. I like it. Okay. Big damage. Oh, looking for the empty hop to grab. Yeah. Good defense there by Ritz. Get some couple up airs. Man, I'm just gonna need a little bit more than good defense in one stock. The Crouch thing is, Cobalt's presence of mind is neutral. It's just so smart. It just shows what kind of player he is. Right. His ability to wait out options and like, I don't know, I was talking to him a long time ago and he mentioned one of the things that, one of the reasons he thinks he's good is that he knows like exactly how long this takes, like how much hit stun he is from, in shield from a, a, a back air. Mm -hmm. So he knows when he can grab as soon as he can, as soon as he can wave dash. And just that not that game knowledge yeah. puts him in a position where he's like, you know, three to five frames ahead of his opponent. And that's just enough where if your reaction is high, which we've seen Cobalt's reaction is very high, you can get some edges that most people wouldn't be able to notice. Like they wouldn't realize they had this option or know that they didn't have an option. Like they wouldn't be like matching the grab. Yeah. Out. Yeah, and the thing is like knowing when to give pressure and then just wait because you know you can't do anything right afterwards, but you know that you can respond to something that they can do, yeah. that's really good presence in my mind. And that's something that a lot of players don't have. You have to be very, very high in your matchup knowledge to know For that sure. kind of a thing. Yeah, exactly. It's the, the fox up throwing a, uh, like a floaty at high percent. It's like up throw weight. Don't go for the up air because they're going to be too high at this percent. Yeah. So you just kind of sit out and see how they fall. Yeah. And you're going to get a better option than just the whiffed up air. Grid's playing a little bit better now. Um, we have more space. A lot more space. Everyone loves Battlefield, but the space is such big game for Fox. And we saw this coming out from the last match, where the Marth just has a little bit of trouble getting in sometimes. Yeah. Or at least approaching. Getting in and yeah. approaching. Wow. <laughs> I think Cobol asking to reset for his reset, controller. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he wasn't doing anything Oh, like he's there. literally not moving. He was just wiggling the controller. Alright, we'll see what happens. Alright, he's, he's pressing, definitely pressing buttons that Mark's not moving. His controller might have just died. Interesting. Alright, that's weird. That's quite bizarre. So... If he does get this to work, um, we apologize for the technical difficulties. We will figure out what is uh, what is going on with Cobalt's controller shortly. Yeah. And we'll see what that means for the fate of the match. Okay, he's right, seeing, seeing if, if the, his uh, controller works. Uh, Alright, yeah, it looks definitely like the, the controller port. port. Yep. Yeah, so that's weird. They'll probably start over the whole match. Yeah. A little rough for Rids because he had that early against that stock. But. Yeah. Yeah, but a weird situation, to say the least. I've never seen, like, one controller port just die. You know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's Super just in the middle of the game, too. Like, it wasn't like anyone moved really quickly, and the, uh, the way controllers have a lot of, like, give, a lot of length. So. That's odd. Yeah. I, I want to say that's like a connection issue either with like the stream setups and like the TV. No, 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 no way. It's just straight up in the Wii. Just some, some, some amount of electronics in that player 2 port just decided that today was the day. <laughs> Melee is going to catch up to us, boys. <laughs> you know, we're playing on Wii's, you know, a little bit in the future-esque, but like, you know, we're going to get to a point where CRTs aren't working. Yeah, components will get out. Yeah. Uh, the disc won't work anymore. Well, we just gotta. We just have to play until that happens. You know, if the game gives up before we do, I think that just speaks. A, it's a big testament towards us. 
<laughs> That's all we can hope for. Except all those people who said that we play melee in their 80s, they're going to be Well, yeah, for upset. sure. <laughs> I'm hoping it still works. Crossing my fingers, but I understand if it doesn't. So, all right, a little butt check going on right here. We're back on player four this time. Yeah, I feel like Cobalt is going to take at least one stock. Yeah, yeah. I'm probably going to jump in now. <laughs> I guess you remembered what percent he was at it. So it I think, fair. yeah, I think it was at like 20% when he got. But the thing is, you got to remember that Ritz is also at 2%. So. Right, right, right. <laughs> Well, let's see if uh, Cobalt turns this entire thing around. You know, that's definitely a momentum killer for both players. Yeah, absolutely. But I would say more so for Ridge just because of the fact that he knew he was winning, you know? Yeah, for sure. I don't know, I guess having a little bit more time to play without transformations is probably nice for Marth especially as well. So, oh, good power shield. I think it was at least 30 seconds before the first transformation, so. Oh, man. Fox is better with them than with damage. Him. Yeah, jeez. Good turn around, though. That's all defensive grids. Oh, jeez. Nice. That works much better. Yeah. yeah, Cobalt definitely turning the whole thing around. Tough, yeah. Of course, the controller works this time, so. He, he, yeah, right? Nice. That definitely up. speaks to better about his last, oh, second last Yeah, time. a little bit of something. <laughs> Okay, nice spot dodge. Good job not grabbing there. Interesting up the same right? He just wanted a hitbox, so he yeah. just didn't get immediately grabbed. Okay, we got a little bit of pit fight going on. Great opportunities for Marsh to just throw it up tilts. Yeah. Just any number of hitboxes, because they hit so far. Just shooting the rough direction of your opponent and they'll probably hit them. I love pit fights because you can just tell that players don't really know what to do with the pit. They just want to like throw out big hitboxes. Yeah, it's such a, well this might work. <laughs> and I love it because it's always hype. It's always fun to watch, but you know, oh, yeah, a lot of players, sure. they know their combos, but not there. <laughs> yeah. Well, just because the ability to tech and uh, just like extra shield options from your opponent makes it so bizarre. Ooh. <laughs> Cobalt waited on a grab there, but yeah. Rin's able to get the up smash first. Yeah, he was trying to react. He was definitely trying to react in a... Oh, then it's Malen, that's his big That's game. it. This might be it. Nope. Ooh. Cobalt messes up the down air. Rin's with great pressure. Okay, looking for the yeah. tech backwards. Okay, okay. He's not quite the tip, but he gets him off the ledge, which is enough for Marth most of the time. That was smart. Rin's going high there. Oh, uh, it's time he couldn't get him back. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just curious what Cobalt said because Cobalt gave Rids a look like, "Yo, oh, man, I'm sorry that he was just right, yeah. smiling." 